Hello, welcome back to episode 86 of our Gene Forge 2 Infestation playthrough. We are about to attempt to get, uh, what's it called? Restitution? From this, uh, guy over here. Uh, let's... Talk about something I want to discuss. Name's Nishanti. Santa's murdered my teacher. He owes me a blood debt, and it will be repaid. Stannis snorts. He is not concerned. Barzal sighs. Stannis is a valuable assistant of mine, but he did kill one of our kind. There is only one way to handle this. You may challenge Stannis to a duel to resolve the issue. All understand such matters of honor must be dealt with fairly. Stannis is not upset that by this. In fact, he wants to kill you. Barzal points at Stannis. There he is. Challenge him if you want. Just bear in mind that blood duels are personal affairs. The role your creations play will be limited. Oh? Barzal has told me that you killed Shanti. There's a long, tense silence. Stannis looks at Barzal. Barzal looks away. This is Stannis' error, and Barzal is leaving him to fix it. Yes, it was an accident. The fool ran. She struggled. She fell on my blade. That is all. I expect you will forgive me for it. Canister use has left him incapable of fearing you. My teacher must be avenged. I challenge you to a duel. Stannis smiles. This is clearly what he wanted. Yes, you are an unfortunate distraction for us all, and I will erase it. I will be in the arena waiting for you. I hope you are better than that weakling Shanti. She isn't around. You can't suck at her teeth anymore. Wow. He points to the northwest. Come, little shaper. We will see how strong you really are. He turns and leaves the room. Okay, so I guess we need to go uh, fight him. But first, we're going to come over here and replenish our essence that we used uh, over here. Because no use challenging someone without a full... Get out of the way! Without a full uh, essence pool. Alright, that's all we've got. Man, NPCs who block doorways when you're just trying to navigate the map. Gotta be one of my least favorite things. Alright, we're doing this mostly to get rid of... Uh, all right, let's refresh all these and come in here. All right, Stannis stands in the arena waiting for you. His sword is out and ready. There's a heavy buzz in this room. The brass posts are vibrating, emitting their strange power. They can't affect a shaper, of course, but they will interfere with any allies. Stannis adopts a fighting stance. Are you ready, stripling little student? Ready to fight a true warrior? Come, let's fight. I'm ready. All right, but we did tamp down them. Shouldn't they be weaker? Anyway, excellent. At last, I can kill you. Don't count on your friends for help. The arena is designed for one-on-one -on -one fights. Magical waves should keep them out of the fight. He is clearly unaware. Nice that you sabotaged the machinery earlier. Okay. Okay, all right. Let's take a look at him. No poison resistance on him either. All right, the Barzites seem to be easily affected by poison. All right, I don't think my uh, creations are going to help, huh? Let's come over here. Bull rush him. Stunned resistant. Well, that's nice. And a uh, Hust Blade is not a creation anyway. Okay, we got him acid and poisoned. That is what we're talking about. All right, what's his other fire? Is the next one down? All right, we'll go ahead and hit that because we're most likely to. All right. Oops, we did not mean to run in with him. Okay. We want to rack him, Let's slow him down, and then hit him with some fire. Ooh, spell mastery. I like it. Big hits. Ooh, triple hit. Okay. Nice. 
He's stunned. He loses a turn. We are not getting any, like... You deliver a mortal blow, slipping it easily through a gap in Stannis' armor. He collapses to the ground. His helm falls off and rolls into a corner. He looks up at you, gasping. His face has changed. Somehow, a few scraps of his lost sanity have returned to him. Shaper. Aaliyah. I... I did it. I murdered Shanti. How did I? How did I fall so... His eyes close for the final time. Your teacher has been avenged. You hear a hum. Your helix ring is glowing. Somehow it is feeding on the energy of your fallen foe. A moment later it is silent. Promising, but you will need a workshop to channel this raw power into something useful. How do we channel the helix ring? I need to know. All right. Essence eater. Oh. Okay. Much heavier sword. Basic attack. Essence shock. Two hit bonus, 21%. Uh, that's some physical damage, some energy damage. Agility and evasion over quick action and evasion. I think what we have is better right now, so we're just... Oh, guardian cloak? Okay. Melee, missile, and quick action. Plus 10% creation magical damage resistance. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If we were a guardian, we would love to have this. But air shock is still uh, kind of too important for us. All right, quick save this. Uh, did we check this out? Okay, that's yeah. So I imagine if we hadn't sabotaged the machinery, then our creations would be much weaker. That is awesome. Okay, so we've we've beaten Stannis. Go refill our uh, essence, and then go take a look at defeating Barzal. One hundred ten, sixty-one, eighty-three, eighty-four. All right, we'll refresh everybody's little shields. And doop, 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 doop. And come over here and talk to Barzal. And see about fighting him. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. All right, quick save. I have killed Stannis. Barzal shrugs. That is unfortunate. He was useful, but then letting Shanti die like that was unforgivable carelessness. I thought he was better than that. I trust you will be a better servant. Uh, something I want to discuss. I still think you're a traitor to the Shapers. It's time for you to be dis Okay, I resist anyone who keep me from perfection. It's time for you to be destroyed. Shaper Resolve steps forward. He smiles. The air fills with magical energy, making his hair stand on end. I knew you were too weak for our gifts the moment I saw you. The average quality of Shapers is about to increase. Rude! Uh, what did he cast? He's blessed. Alright, he also is susceptible to poison. So, here we go. Terrified? Wait, who's terrified? One of Barzal's drakes shakes its head back and forth, as if it's trying to clear its mind. Thanks to your interference, the control waves that blanket the town are not having the effect they're supposed to. The drake's whole body spasms. It roars, trying to free itself from the control of Barzal. The control Barzal exerts over it. Then, with a final deafening shriek, it goes rogue. Then it concentrates what little remains of its ability to think and plan, trying to find Barzal. Nice. Nice! They're all attacking him. Oh, except for that one. Okay, that's fine. Wait, we have... Why are we terrified when we hit him? That seems... Messed up. Stun resisted. Okay. I think there's a big fight going on uh, outside. <laughs> he tried to daze. Okay, that one broke free. Terrified resisted. We have the mind shield. 
was just getting hit so many so many opponents. Wait, why didn't we get a turn? We don't have any effects that should have stopped it. Alright, we're just gonna back away for now with Houst. I mean we don't have a problem. Oh, shouts of command, shaping circle in the middle of the hall begins to glow. Alright, start by racking him. And then he's poisoned still, right? Yeah, alright, let's see if we can get some acid on him. There we go. Okay. Need our creatures to come over. Oh. Yeah, knock him back. Don't need him interfering. Okay. Alright, the drakes are turning this into a very a sort of kind of winning battle. Uh, how strong are you? Level 17? I think Houston can survive stabbing you. Okay, maybe not because you, you missed. Uh, what do we do here? 471 health. He's got poison and acid. It doesn't have very good armor. We can actually give him the old vulnerability stab. Make everybody else's attacks null field resisted. Okay, we can be careful. There's acid on Hust. Nice. Did we? We just leveled up mid combat. Nice. Erg. Hit him with some thorns. Finish him off. Oh, so close. There he goes. You strike Shaper Barzal one final time. He screams in rage. No, we could have been free. We could have remade the world. You fool, you... Then his entire body spasms. He collapses to the floor, convulsing as the immense power stored within him flies out of control. There's a horrifying, gruesome display of pyrotechnics. Shaper Barzal is gone. You hear a hum. Your helix ring is glowing. Somehow it is feeding on the energy of your fallen foe. A moment later, it is silent. Promising, but you will need a workshop to channel this raw power into something useful. All right. All right, Danette's Cloak. All right, this cloak has powerful defensive energy. If you receive a blow that would kill you, it can consume your essence to shield you from the blow. Interesting. Shaper Robe. Oh, that's cool. Plus two to fire, battle, and magic shaping. Plus ten percent creation, melee, and magical damage. Unfortunately, we're not. That gold goblet. We don't care if anybody sees that. Uh, that one could be useful. We'll think about that. All right. We have defeated Barzal. All right. The Glack is showing unfriendly. And Trockman is at half health. Alright, let's see if we can hit him from here. Yeah. Ooh, nice. A uh, guard. Okay, we're just gonna walk towards the exit nice and slow like. Nobody pay any attention to us. Alright, uh... Can we... finish you off? Yep. Does anybody can come out of the places to attack us? No, they're not. Alright. Okay, I guess this battle alpha is... Uh, what do you got health-wise? 217? Alright, have some fire. I thought we might get a second attack here. Alright, and we're out. Let's go tell the takers that we are one of them. Hello, hello, we have... Oh wait, we need to go talk to Amina. Ooh, that wasn't as tough a fight as I thought it was going to be with that, uh, with the mechanics thing. Alright, Aminablade watches you coldly. You doubt that anything you say 
do whatever win the respect. I have done what you asked. One of the faction leaders is dead. Middle Blade is shocked. You did it? But that actually helps us. Makes things easier for takers. That, he stops. You help us. You really do. I do not know why. I do not know what cunning shaper game you play, but you have aided us, and, and you might again. It is strange. I feel I must keep my word to a shaper. Yes, I will not oppose you. I will not oppose Cirrus letting you help us. Did you know that one of your gazers went rogue and blocked the road to the east? Yes, unfortunate. Some gazers are prone to that. It will be dealt with. No need for you to be involved. Do you ask for payment? Uh... Okay, so we leveled up. Um, I think we're going to take some Essence Mastery because we run a little low on Essence in our fights. And we might bump up our leadership a bit here. Or, I mean, our battle magic and our spellcraft has been doing a lot. Battle shaping. Hmm... I don't know. This is a tough one. Melee weapons, maybe? I think we do leadership one more, and our blessing magic one more as well. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, we probably should have put uh, a different ring besides the Infiltrator's ring on for the fight with Barzal, but that's fine. We really need to unlock this Helix ring somehow. Let's go talk to Ceros and join the Takers. Well, uh, yeah, I think I think that's fine. Yes. All right. Sirius watches you silently for a few moments. Uh, I would like to ally myself with the Takers. You've done well. You have, I think, earned our trust. If you want to ally yourself with the Takers, I will allow it. I'm ready. I want to be a Taker. Then only one thing remains. You must give an oath. If you speak these words, we will know you have turned on your cruel leaders at last. Repeat these words. I swear I will aid the Takers. I swear I will help us take our freedom. I swear I will bring death and destruction to the Wicked Shapers until that freedom is obtained. I will do anything and everything I can to end their tyranny. Repeat these words. Sears watches carefully. You notice his teeth are slightly bared. He waits to see you are truly converted. Repeat his oath. Sears is relieved. Then a taker you are, until you die. At Shaper hands, or if you betray us, ours. Sears has three items brought to you. Two are small tokens, a carved fang and a bundle of feathers. The third is an iron key. Two passes will give you free passage in all our lands except the mountains to the northwest. That is Benarius, core of our research. Do not go there yet. It is still forbidden to you. Man, that's why I joined. I'm trying to get, take care of some other tasks. The key will give you free passage in Zasus. Go where you want and take what you need. You are now the secret of our freedom. We will not have you fail for lack of supplies. When you are ready... Ally, return to me. I will give you instructions. The path I send you on will, I hope, lead to our freedom. Alright, there's something... Uh, I am ready to assist the Takers. Excellent. Your goal from here on will be helping us complete our work. We Takers are working on a, sh on a shaping. We have that power now. We are creating an ally. It will be powerful beyond words. It will lead us to the land of freedom. You're creating an ally? Yes, oh yes, his eyes gleam. We will harness the powers of our great oppressor. I can aid with shaping right now. No, that is one firm decision we made early on. None of the shaping done by takers will be done by shapers. This power must be mastered by creations alone. Only we have the understanding and wisdom to master it. When victory is won, shapers will never shape again. An exception may be made for you. All right, where do I need to go first? To complete your, our great experiment, we need information. Information that was promised us before the war, before the Awakened and the Barzites turned on us. You must go to the lands of the Awakened, namely their mages' complex. 
Deep within the Shaper, Tolderic has accumulated a good deal of information. He has found secrets to more efficiently improve an already living creature. We need this knowledge. Find his notes, the key to his secrets, and bring it to us. Uh, okay. Tell me about Tolderic. He, he thinks he can get power by protecting the Awakened and then negotiating with the Shapers. He is a fool. The Shapers will destroy the Awakened and execute him. Ignore him. How do I know the notes? They will be in Tolderic's inner chambers. You are a shaper. Look for his books. You will know power when you see it. How can I enter the mage's complex? Spies have seen two entrances. You can use force to smash the front gates, or you can sneak in through the power conduit tunnels. All right, another question. Okay. So we still can't go to Benarios. Oh, I thought you said I could have supplies. What's back here? Okay, this door opens. Uh, I have a feeling of something nasty back here. But let's see. Pure, pu putrefied gauntlets. Haste chance and life drain, but lower strength and agility. All right, we'll take those. Gruesome charm, less strength and intellect, but higher haste and hit chance, and creation melee damage. Uh, I don't think we want lower strength and intellect. Tex Spectral Dirk. Alright, plus 20% physical armor. Plus 25% to magical damage resistance. Plus 20% to stun resistance. Uh, that's tempting. Man, we are getting... We are getting quite a bit of high level gear now. Alright. Box contains broken weapons, bits of bones, and other keepsakes from Cirrus's long life. There's a paper map of Susha Island, for example, and a handful of rocks. The rocks are plain and worn smooth. They probably have sentimental value. You also find a fang hanging from a loop of leather. It is carved with several symbols and feathers have been glued to it. It seems like more than a memento, so you take it. I think we have like four of those passes now. Yeah, that's what I thought might be back here. Alright, uh, protection, more blessing. There you go, smack him. Really? Gonna have stuff have us blocking the doorway. What's your resistance? Is none to acid or cold? Alright. It won't stun you, but hey, just kill you outright. We'll take that. And heal you up. Alright. Uh, we're a taker now. Uh, can you help? Binary ooze, which we still can't go to yet. We already cracked open this. Oh, but now it's not stealing to take this stuff. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Oops. So now we can just take everything and nobody cares because we're a taker <laughs> funny uh, fat boots, shape boots was there any locked doors that we couldn't get in okay This is the Servile Warrens. Dormbaton. Yes, now we can just take all of this stuff and nobody cares. Oh, no, we don't want to use that. Too many mouths, huh? 
What's up here? Old worn book. Do we already take all the stuff in here? Ale and wine, all right. This is the food parlor. Must, all right. Must have looted all this stuff. Right, we found Emily's family notes up here, I think. Yeah, just some paper. All right. So now we just kind of go where we please. See if the merchant has any. They don't have any money. And they don't have anything to sell either, okay. Let's see, do you have any missions for us now? Uh, question, all right, nothing else from you. I think we've used up this merchant's money as well, yep. We're actually running a little, you know what, we need to go talk to them. We're running a little low on essence pods, and we have a lot of money, so we'll go ahead and buy some. Let's talk to Amina. Now we can just take all this stuff that we don't need. Is there anything I can do to help you? Since you're with the takers and in a helping mood, I will use you. I give you a job hunting serviles. A shaper would like that. East of here is a band of cult serviles on shore of lake. Cult serviles follow us from Susha. They hate shapers, but they are truly mad, unpredictable. Like to hurt us. Hate drakes. Not useful to us. Go and kill them all. Those who keep us from fighting the shapers are with the shapers. Cult serviles? They found a way to learn magic. Impressive, yes but it requires they torment themselves and get lost forever in their own thoughts. They separate from the world, and we can't afford that. The world cares too much about us. Takers would kill Serranos. We Takers have a true cause and a goal. We will defeat the Shapers. We can do it. We just can't afford to let anyone work against us, Servile or not. Alright. So, time to clear out a cult. Look at here. Get a Shaped Blade. Shape belt, steel shield, steel breastplate. And I would like to sell something and you have no money. Okay. Yeah, lots of shaped weapons and stuff. The real question is, how are we going to how are we going to unlock the oh here's a door. Maybe we have the key to now. Uh, leave it alone. I thought they gave us a key. Oh, right. Battle shaping. Alright, we gotta load the quick save. Okay, so there's battle shaping in there. And the key that they gave us to all their supplies does not include the battle shaping. Sell something? Ooh. Sold what we could. What do you got? Anything interesting? Air shot crystals, living tools, and a bunch of stuff on the ground. Yep, uh, just taking all the taker stuff. It's what they would have wanted. That's how they know I'm really a taker, is I'm taking all their things. Alright, so now we go to kill the cultists in the outskirts. Right, who live up here? Okay, so we wouldn't be making anybody mad if we went and did that. Because they already don't like them. Ilzar. Right, right, right. Okay. 
we will clear out the cultists for the takers and continue doing missions for them next time. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.